Hi, my name is Robert Gray. There's been a lot of discussion in Baltimore recently about what gigabit broadband means for the city, and in specific, Google's offer to bring gigabit broadband to a city. And we've had a lot of excitement with the governor's endorsement, and we had a press conference today with our new mayor. And to find out how this is specifically going to impact art and culture, we're here at the Walters Art Museum, and I'm with the curator of rare books at the Walters, Dr. William Knoll. So what are we looking at here, Will? Yeah, hi, Rob. Well, we're looking at two of the great, really great manuscripts at the Walters Art Museum. This one was made in Armenia in the 13th century, and it's a gospel book. And this is the earliest surviving extant choir book made for some nuns in Belgium in the year 1290. And these are typical of the treasures of about a 1,000 treasures we have at the Walters Art Museum. And of course, for hundreds and thousands of years, they've been closed books to absolutely everybody. And one of the great things about modern technology is that we can open them for everyone to see on their desktops. So we're now engaged in creating about 50 terabytes of data uh, for the world to turn the pages of all our wonderful illuminated manuscripts and to publish them Creative Commons on the web for everyone to use exactly as they like. So it's a major venture, and one of the great troubles that we're having, of course, is the fact that the, that the current internet structure isn't really sufficient to all of our needs. So uh, we're getting there, but we could really do with some help. So we're down here in the multi-spectral imaging lab here at the Walters, and this is one of the most advanced manuscript multi-spectral imaging labs in the world. So you have 23 images with a 39 megapixel camera wind up with 1.8 gigs per leaf of the manuscript. How many days does it take to do a leaf? Is it, do you do one leaf a day? Or? We do one leaf uh, every six minutes. Oh, wow. And so we end up with 224 leaves, mm -hmm. multiply that, and we end up, uh, the whole initial data set, we were running tight on a one terabyte drive. There's very, very faint undertext here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what we're doing is trying to enhance that undertext for scholars around the world. We had mm -hmm. a scholar, we had to fly him in from Exeter because we can't ship all this data to Exeter. Right, right. Uh, so that he could work with the scientists and help them with their processing. For the Archimedes Palimpsest project, we have a scientist in UCLA. We have mm -hmm. another scientist up in Oxford. Mm -hmm. We had a scientist in, uh, in Germany, mm -hmm. uh, one in Hungary. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't ship the, our way of getting data around, right. put it on a hard drive, give it to FedEx, and they, yeah. uh, they transfer it. So how big is a, each image, approximately? The average image, I know some are bigger than others, but the average... Depends on the size of the book. Uh -huh. um, anywhere 100 megs to 200, 300, yeah. so... Okay, and, and then how many images are you making per hour? Is it about, again, it depends on the fragility of the book and that sort of thing, but about... I'm just trying to get an overall picture of how much data just in this one room alone you guys are generating per hour. 20 to 30 images per hour really depends on the book. I right, think our, so... If the we, most we did in a day was about 230. Okay, so 230 images a day, somewhere between two and 300 megs per image. That's a lot of data that you guys are generating <laughs> per day. A lot of everyone's time, all day long, is spent moving hard drives back and forth. So we uh, get 100 or so gigabytes on a on a hard drive, we bring it up to the uh, to the fifth floor here. We copy it onto our backup drive, and then the uh, image processors they copy the make copies onto their drives. So we have end up with multiple copies of the data uh, on different hard drives. And the way that we're moving it is we're just using USB, attaching it to a computer, and and it takes about uh, what about it takes about an hour and a half, two hours to copy. Uh, 100 gigabytes of data. So thanks for going on this digital tour with us. You can catch the latest news on thewalters.org or you can follow them on Twitter.